Hey everyone, how y'all doing? So today I have another traveling knife to check out and it happens to be a Victorinox. So double cool for me. This is one I haven't seen yet. So I'm kind of, I was excited to get a hold of this. And this is a traveling knife and it was started by CB Tactical. It was his knife. He sent it out as a traveling knife for the rest of us to look at. And to best of my knowledge, he sent it to Tom over on Knife Delights, who then sent it to RJ's Knives, who then sent it to Baxter's Blades. Now, I don't have channel stickers for Baxter's Blades or CB Tactical yet, so I just took a screenshot of their um, channel page. And then he sent it to Big Red EDC. Then JB sent it to John over at J.O. Ventures Outdoors. And he sent it to Tim's School of Fish. And then Tim sent it to me. When I am done, I'm shipping it out to Rich over on AOK Product Reviews or a -Sign Knives. And check his sticker out. That's pretty cool. It's a little smaller sticker, but it's kind of reflective or I don't know what you want to call it, but cool sticker. So you can check all these channels out and see probably a better video on this knife than this one. But yeah, Victorinox knife, it's geared for hunters. It's not really an EDC multi-tool, but we'll get into that. It came in this pretty much standard um, silver Victorinox box. And the model of this is... 0.8441.MC4US1 and it's the Hunter XT with pouch. Um, this is a discontinued version of it. There's a new version which I'll get into in, in a minute. But yeah, comes in this nylon belt sheath which is pretty nice. I've never seen a Victorinox nylon sheath before and it seems to be very well built looks good um, I need to get one of these for my my Forester and it has the part number right here and which is 4.0547.3 right there under the flap I need to write that down before I pack this thing up to send to Rich so I can order one of these. My Forester fits in it perfect. But yeah, very well built sheaves. My biggest drawback I need is they use Velcro for the closure. Um, I'm not a fan of the Velcro and I don't like the ripping sound it makes when I'm trying to get my knife out. And I hate when it closes crooked. If you go back and look, when I started the video, I'd straighten that out because it's crooked. That's my OCD kicking in. That just drives me nuts. But other than that, the Velcro lasts. It works fine. It seems to last good. I have it on my Spirit X sheath, which I've had for a while. This thing's been open and closed a billion times and still the Velcro's holding up. I just hate when I close it and I'm walking around all cockeyed like this. Kind of, it just bugs me. It's my own issue. But it works fine. Um, this is a nice sheath. So let's check the knife out. This is a pretty cool knife. Like I said, this is geared towards hunters. And this particular version, this olive drab green and black, is discontinued, retired from, you know, Victorinox is not making this one anymore. I have some printouts, so you'll see a picture of the new version and a couple differences to it. But this is a 111 millimeter knife. It is the same size as my Forester. In fact, if you look at the profile, the handle, it's exactly the same. Um, this one is a little thicker. I believe the, I don't know, 
just a little bit thicker, not by too much. This is a double bladed knife with a saw and a Phillips head screwdriver. And let me tell you, the blades are cool. I particularly like the, the one blade, but yeah, one hand opening. This is the first Victorinox one hand opener I have seen or handled and easy slow roll open the main blade which is a plain edge blade very cool blade shape nice flat grind i have not really used this blade much i've been more intrigued by the other blade for some odd reason but you can see victorinox swiss made right there nothing on the back of it very nice blade cool blade shape you know, everybody has an opinion on what it looks like. I have no clue. Kind of reminds me, I don't know. I'm not even going to say what I think it looks like, but very cool blade. This blade is about, oh, three and three eighths overall with about a one and, or three and an eighth cutting edge. Very nice blade. Very comfortable to put your finger up here on the other side of the the hump here and do cuts like this. Hold it like this. You got a nice thumb ramp on it. You can choke up on the kick here. And this one I noticed does have some lock rock up and down. It, there's some movement side to side. It is solid. It is a liner lock, and it is all the way over. It is fully engaged. I have no no fear of this thing closing up by me. But, yeah, there's a little bit of lock rock on it. Now, liner lock is different. You have to push it the op opposite way than usual. You have to push it over to the right. And... Yeah, it's a two-hand closing knife. One hand open, two hand close. You know, they 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 advertise one hand opening. They don't say anything about one hand close, but opens nice, nice blade. I dig that. Now right in the center, if I can find it, it has a saw. Now everybody's calling this a bone saw. It is actually listed as a wood saw, and it is the exact same saw that is on my Forester. The exactly the same. Same size, same length, same thickness, same teeth pattern. I mean, they just fit right together like that. Um, so, it's a wood saw. Would it cut through bone? I, I would imagine it would. Um very easily because it's a push pull saw so it cuts going either way and these saw blades cut through freaking branches like nobody's business i've never tried one on bone but i would imagine they would just shred right through a leg bone or whatever so yeah it's actually listed as a wood saw would I use it as a, try to use it as a bone saw? Maybe. Probably. Now, the next blade is the one that just, I don't know, intrigues the crap out of me. And, you know my channel, you know me, I do not like serrated blades. I own one knife that is part, partially serrated. And I don't hardly ever carry it because of that. I got rid of all the other ones that had serrated blades. But this one is wicked. It's kind of, it's curved like a hawkbill blade. Nice looking serrations on this. And yeah, I've been kind of intrigued by this. I've been using this blade for some things. And I have this nylon rope. And watch this. This is just scary sharp ridiculous how how easy it cuts through that now 
let me try the main blade I have not tried this yet the plain blade um, I've done very little with this blade because the other one just fascinates me um, yeah see it's kind of sliding right out but it took me three tries to get through that but this this thing the way it's curved and the serrations it just grabs a hold of it I mean that is stupid that is stupid I dig it um, but yeah very unique blade and this is called they call it a gutting blade I know people say gut hook and it's not really a hook you know doesn't have that hook to it just kind of curve but yeah a gutting blade I believe it would work um, rounded tip here so you can get in without poking going into what you don't want to go into it would probably work as a rescue knife to to extract someone out of their seat belt you could definitely get that in there without jabbing someone get underneath there and this thing I bet just rips right through a seat belt because it cuts through this rope like like it's nothing um, but yeah you have that and this one is probably the same yeah, it's about a little over three inches all the way to the end cutting edge hard to tell on the curve you got about two and two and three eighths maybe but yeah wicked blade and this has a liner lock that works normally you push it to the left and close it this one actually you can close one-handed easier that is fully over there is no up and down play on this one no side to side but yeah you can you can close this one one-handed um, I didn't really talk about the handle scales here it's a two compound material the green is kind of hard plastic like on a Forester the black is different it's not real soft but it is a little bit rubbery as you can dig into it a little bit and I did get my hands wet I did play with this and it is pretty grippy so as that is cool um, comes with a lanyard um, or a key ring whatever you want to call it now you're not going to put this on your keys but you can put a key on it but John over on JL Ventures Outdoors made this cool lanyard for with that skull bead he does a good job on these lanyards knots are even nice and tight the tails here are equal length a lot better than I can tie up a lanyard um, but yeah pretty cool addition to it helps to get it out of that sheath easy now I have to say one thing now that I thought about it when Tim over on Tim School of Fish reviewed it he said it looked like a frog and I instantly saw what he was talking about and I cannot get that out of my head it does look like a frog here's the eyes here's the face this could be the mouth or him smoking a stogie that's what I picture and yeah once I saw that I can't unsee it I it's a frog so this is the frog knife but in the back anyways you got one tool and it's a Phillips head screwdriver 3d Phillips head screwdriver that's that's pretty cool I'm sure you know hunting I don't know this would fit the scope mount screws or or what without going checking but there's probably a need for it. it might be a screw on a tree stand or something that needs tightening so that's cool but yeah now I said this was discontinued I went looking for stuff 
And um, I found on SackWiki, which you'll have to excuse the cuts, I used this to check out Tested Blade. Um, Victorinox Hunter XT Grip, you can see this is orange with black. That's the new version. And instead of the Phillips head screwdriver, it has the corkscrew. And I believe now it comes with the Victorinox little lanyard zipper pull there. But it's a three layer knife with a corkscrew first introduced in 2012. It is quite unique for Swiss Army knife. Featuring both plain and serrated, serrated edge locking blades and unusually no standard opening layer. Now, it doesn't have the opening layer, the the can opener, cap lifter, like like here on the Forester. And down here it says an earlier version of this model was also available with green and black scales and a Phillips head screwdriver on the back spring. So that is this one. This model, somewhat confusingly, was also known as the Hunter XT. The Phillips variation model is retired. So that's that. And then on Country Knives, which is an intercourse PA, the Hunter XT Black Green Olive, and here's the part number. And I'll show you the, the model number of the other one in a minute. And has a little right up here. While the two component compound on the scales ensure excellent grip, and thanks to the curved shape and rounded tip of the special gutting blade, game can be dressed quickly and easily right there in the field. That sets a new standard for hunting knives. And again, 111 millimeter features large one hand opening locking blade, locking serrated gutting blade, a wood saw, Phillips screwdriver, and a key ring. Discontinued by manufacturer, limited quantities available. So there's that from Country Knives. Now, this is the printout basically from Victorinox. This is, when you look up Hunter XT, this is what comes up. Here's the orange and black one with the corkscrew. And again, it says Swiss made pocket knife, six functions, two component scales for outstanding grip. Includes large and lockable gutting blade. Length is 4.4 inches, weight is 5.3. I'm assuming they weigh the same. And the item number is 0.8341.MC9 instead of the MC4US1. And the number's different. That's This is 8341. The green one is 8441. And basically the same. Here's the tools. Key ring, wood saw, corkscrew, blade, large, gutting gutting blade and lanyard so it comes with that little tiny zipper pole dimensions again height 0.8 inches length 4.4 width 1.4 weight is 5.3 poly polyamide material for the handles and yeah so that is the right up on a new version of it which is pretty cool i dig the corkscrew Corkscrew come in handy also. I don't know which one I would prefer to take hunting with me, but either or would be okay. And I like the orange and black better because it's orange, but because it'd be easier to see than this if you drop it, sit it down, forget where you put it. But yeah, pretty cool knife. Would I take this hunting? Um, I... I'd carry it hunting as a secondary knife. I would definitely use a fixed blade knife. Um, but this would do one heck of a job. Especially, especially with this blade. Would come in very handy. Very useful, I believe. Um, would I want to field dress a deer with this and have to clean it out? I guess it's easy enough to... To wash out, you know, under the faucet and get out everything out and oil it back up. But, you know, I'm going to use a fixed blade. 
this would be something I, I would take as a you know a backup, a secondary knife, because although I've never lost a knife in the woods, my dad used to carry three to four knives on him because the first one he'd go to grab, he lost someplace, and surprisingly enough, he eventually found everyone. But that was that was something he always ended up doing, losing his knife. And he wasn't about to be stuck without one, so he, he'd have three or four fixed blade bucks in his belt. But yeah, pretty cool knife. Um, the green and black looks good, but yeah, I wouldn't want to carry this in the woods all that, you know, that much. Because I would take it out, use it, sit it down, and then walk away, come back, and wouldn't be able to see it. So I'd like the orange one. And yeah, I wouldn't EDC. I would not EDC this knife, you know, every day. But it's, it has a purpose. It would serve a purpose. And yeah, I, I would carry it for hunting. And if I was going to be in the woods for a few days hiking and camping and stuff, this might come in very handy. And it does come with a nice nylon sheath. And it's not that heavy. It does not feel heavy. I'm not, I don't even know where my scale is. But all together, what's it say? It says 5.3. That sheath weighs hardly nothing. So you would forget those things on your belt. Um, but yeah, I guess that would do it for this video. Um, make sure you check out all the channels I showed. You know, CB Tactical. He's the one that... Set the knife out, Knife Delights, RJ's Knives, Baxter's Blades, Big Red EDC, J.O. Ventures Outdoors, Tim School of Fish, and AOK ASI Knives Product Reviews. All great channels, all channels I subscribe to, so check them all out. And I guess that will do it for this video. My camera's about ready to die, so... Do the usual, like, comment, subscribe to this channel if you haven't, and until the next video, bye.